And we're back to another episode of Let's Play Shining in the Darkness. I'm your host, Nick Legato, and we're in the long path here as we fight a chrome ball. Oh, great. <laughs> we're in that real long passageway right before where we left in the last episode. So we're kind of picking up where we left off. You know, and we're fighting chrome balls, which are nasty. I should have actually buffed Nick, but oh well. I'll have to heal and do it next turn. Because as you can see, he's going to he's gonna tear my party apart here. If I don't do something dramatic. Let's go ahead and heal. And let's boost. And kill him in one shot. Kill him in! Kill him with fire! There we go. Ow! There we go. Still not dead, though. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, let's just see if we can pick him apart. He should be almost dead. That last blow, well, surprisingly not. He's gonna kill off my lead character. Well, maybe not. So that's a lot of damage. Considering we are pimped out on some of the best armor we can get at this point of the game. Mm. Didn't even get good shit from it either. Alright, let's heal. Ah, there we go. And we'll use a healing from Pyra here. For Milo. There we go. Ah, all better. As I fight another one of these bastards. Okay, let's keep moving here. Out of that nasty, evil hallway. And through some nasty slime. MP reducing slime, mind you. Okay. Exit out here. And fight these fools. Okay, fancy kill. Let's go ahead and open this. We get a fire staff. Yay! Something we probably won't use too often. Makes a good item, though. I even think Milo can use it in battle. I mean, as an item in battle for a free multi target attack. I'll try it out in the next battle, let you know if it works. If it does, then it's actually kind of worth the trouble that we took to go get the damn thing. Alright, so luckily that's the only hallway with slime that we will deal with for this part. Now, there's two hallways that we dealt with for slime. They're all done now. Though we could go and get a heal two healing items by going back through the slime. I just really don't want to do that right now. They're healing items. One's smelling salts and the other one's a healing fruit. Don't really need it. And we're walking. And we're killing. Okay, yeah. Be careful of those guys. They're pretty nasty because they do a gang up attack. And you know how gang up attacks usually end very badly. Wow, I almost had to leave right there. The freaking thing blew up in my face and did like 100 damage to each character. Yeah, those chrome balls are definitely the most threatening thing in this place for sure. Even over the sentinels. The sentinels weren't as bad as these guys, so just be careful. As we have to fight a sentinel because there's a treasure chest that we want, literally, right on the other side. So let me go ahead and show you really quick how to fight these guys. I think you, I did this in another episode already, but we'll do it again. Just boost your main character. Use my Pyra's free turn next uh, attack. Um, damn it! Use Pyra's free attack next turn to cast slow, t like a level one slow on him. If you really think you need it, usually you don't. But I just want to be on the safe side here. Let's see, ah. yeah. So we won't waste any more MP ever doing that again, as that should be enough to almost kill it. Probably got one more hit set of hit points left, one more round of damage worth left, and as usual we're going to have to heal everybody just to finish this through. Well, technically we'll be okay. We only shouldn't be a big deal. Um, let me go ahead and heal. Mmm, tastes like healing. And the healing's all around because we kind of need it. Do you notice I'm reluctant at this point to use Pyra's healing power? I'm actually saving it. So let's go ahead and grab this, and we get this, the infant, the famed and sought for sun armor. That is an upgrade specifically for Nick. It is actually a really good upgrade. So let's get it on him. The worn robe is practically useless. There we go, and that stuff will stay. All right, let's back out, and we'll ignore that passageway and take the next one. Even though this is normally not a great idea. Let's fight this fool. The battle is won with very little effort. That one wasn't as bad as even the last one. <laughs> so let's keep moving. Uh, okay. 
Let's go down here. Okay. Let's move as we gotta fight these guys. And we're walking. And we get 300 gold! Money! Money! I can't say it. I can't do it in a high voice without it feeling like I'm getting castrated. Okay, now we gotta go in and around and fight a bunch of mandrakes. That should, they shouldn't be too tough. Fire staff time! Alright, let's keep moving. Run, 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 run. And we'll take the first turn and then we'll take the left right. Okay, we'll take this all the way to the end for a chest after I deal with numbnuts here. Bastard blew up again. Ugh. Okay. Oh, okay. And in here. Ah. Alright, let's move to the left. This is fall we're pretty much just following this hallway in a circle here. Alright. <clears throat> Let me turn here. Um this should be So we'll want to make a note of this for later. Right now, it doesn't mean anything. It'll mean some. It'll mean more later. And we head up another. This is the third level of the labyrinth. But before we go too far, you know, now that we've made it this far, eh, let's see. Uh, well, there's not much we can do right now. I mean, we've done what we can do in the labyrinth. It's now time to pretty much leave at this juncture. Let's leave, because we're practically... You know, we're on our the tips of our heels here about surviving this thing, so... This was a good idea to come back at this point. Let's go ahead and recover first. Then we're gonna sell off all of our goodies here. Well, it looks like they're still around. Unless we have the, them there. Let's see. Let's Alright, ah, tastes like healing. Okay. Yeah, 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 I slept as good as sleep gets. Let's go into the trader here. Because we've got some crap to sell first. Let's go ahead and sell the iron armor, as that has now reached its la its use usefulness has now ceased to exist. The worn robe. Yeah, it's a piece of crap. Whatever. Um, obviously gonna sell off this worn robe. Just, there shouldn't be any uses for these worn robes. If there are, I can buy them back, and they shouldn't be too expensive, as you can see. And that should be everything there. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yes. Um, do, 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 repair, because I did damage it. And it is useful at the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, 500 gold, sure. Um, I don't think this needs to be fixed. Okay. So now that we've done that, yay! Let's take a look here. I don't have much money. Still not enough to do some stuff that I want to do, so... Eh, it'll be what it'll be. Let's go ahead and save. Or actually, better than that, let's go to the alchemist here. And pick up some goodies. Um, specifically, we're going to take some healer fruits with us. Because we've got to go through that dungeon yet again one more freaking time. Not a joke. And the reason we got to go through it one... Oops. The reason we got to go through it one more time, and it'll be explained in a moment but we have to go through it again. So actually what I'm going to do is fill up entirely because there's no items we need to collect from that floor. So we'll make sure we use our healing item apparatus first. So that, that way we just load up on healer fruit here. Um, do -do 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 -do, loading up. We don't have, we're not going to have enough money no matter what I do or what I say. We're not going to have enough money to heal completely up here, I don't think. Well, I, you know what? The other option, though, is I could see how much I could sell the, uh, the, uh, what's it called? The fire staff, though I have been using it. It is broken, and it'll just break again eventually. So maybe I, there might be a better option here. I could always buy it back. 
If it doesn't work out the way I want it to, it's not a huge deal. Let's put that here. Yes. Yes. And I need to make sure I give room back to Milo for that staff, so let's just do that for now. Because Pyra actually has another healing item on her, so it's not like I need to do anything more with that. Okay, let's head back to... We gotta leave town. We have to come back to the trader anyway, so let's go here. Zern, the elder who once taught Melville with the Mystic Arts is here right now. Okay, well... Holy shit, it's Gandalf! It's Gandalf! <laughs> oh no... Okay, so we learned that Melville is actually Dark Soul. So, like I said, the story here isn't very deep, but it does have, it does exist to a point. So the Mystic Medallion, okay. The waters of the fountain using the other half will return you instantly to that fountain. So that, you know how we found that gold um, medallion? Or that gold fountain, the gold colored fountain? That's where we drop a medallion and it'll, every time we drop it, you, you actually have to get to the end of level two of the labyrinth to make that scene happen. So you have to go through it once regardless. No matter what you do, you just have to go through it. And I'm carrying one too many things here now. So we're going to have to sell the healer. We're going to have to eat the healer fruit. I'm not going to even sell it. 50 gold is not worth, sh not really worth anything. Go ahead and enter the trader here. Yes, I am. Sells for 2,000, so that's still not enough for us to do what I want to do with it. Let me, I, I... Wait a minute. He can use it as an item. He can't use it in battle. <laughs> he can't equip it. Um. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Let me see. What is our? Yeah. Even with the two thousand gold from the f staff, we're at sixteen. We need twenty thousand in order to actually upgrade. Um. In order to actually do an upgrade here for our party, unfortunately, and I'm talking like getting the uh, Hex Whip, which I've mentioned in another episode I really wanted, but we were short. Let me see if we have any new armor, though. No, no new armor either. There's this, well, I mean, there's steel armor and stuff, but the sun armor we have is more than sufficient. Let me see what he has for deals. Oops. Because uh, you can only get certain armor at certain points or junctures of the game, so I'm wondering if we've met that criteria here. Um. Yes. Okay, so the, I guess there's no. He doesn't do deals. Let's check out the other, the other guys just in case, because I know that there's an upgrade we can buy. I believe. Um. Let's see. Yes. Uh, yeah, and there's the worn robe, so it's still there. Okay, so we can't... It's very apparent that we cannot do what we want to do. Huh. Okay, so anyway, now that we've done all that, we have the luxury of traversing all the way back to where we... to the third floor of the dungeon, so... Eh, we'll see you when we get there. Okay, really quick, guys. I had to leave the dungeon. Uh, I got blindsided by four salamanders who all decided to breathe fire at me all at once. And so I came back to heal and then go back and let's see, there's somebody here to see us here. Uh-oh. Melville. I wish to talk to you about... Uh-oh. Oh no. <laughs> Kill him now! It's more of an invitation. Join me. Join with the darkness and rule this land with me. Okay. Uh oh. He's trying to kill us!
<laughs> okay, so he apparently doesn't remember what's wrong. Anyway, so let's go ahead and rest, since now that we're back, you know, against my will. Though I did make enough money to take care of one of the issues we had earlier. Let's go ahead and head to the... Yep, head to the trader here. And we're going to have him craft for us something out of that dark block here. Let's see, that way we can actually get this stupid thing out of here. And we'll make that for Pyra here. And a weapon. Yeah, 20,000. Woo! Well, at least we, uh got that taken care of here. We'll need about another 20 G's before we come back, you know, to have him make more stuff for us. But let's go ahead and pick up whatever whatever he's going to make for us, which is what I've... If you've been watching, obviously you know what I'm having him make. The Hex Whip. You have to be careful... Let's end that there. You have to be careful with the Hex Whip. Um, as cool of an item as it really is... It, there's room for error here. Um, it 30% of the time it will actually miss, but look at how much damage it does. 122. It's cursed. See, it's cursed that you will miss 20% of the time, 30% of the time. But because of the amount of damage that it does, there's be kind of stupid not to have it. I mean, just it working once in a battle will kill off a lot of things that are there. So let's. That's a good reason to take it. Let's go ahead and sell the Thorn Whip for a big, a quick 4k. That's enough for one Mithril armor make. And we picked up a longsword as a drop from an enemy. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and buy some healing fruits and an angel feather. And then we're going to save up and then I'm going to get back to that, uh, we're going to get back to the second floor of the, uh, the dungeon here so we'll see you that when we get back up there okay so we're at the third floor of the uh, labyrinth now and there's a few things that we're gonna want to do while we're here so that should all become obvious as we do this so let's go ahead and start moving around shall we we'll take a right and all the way up avoiding many of the pits that are up here okay let's turn right and left and then we go through this nasty zigzagging corridor here not that it's nasty, it's just a lot of zigzags. Um, that's a fountain, we'll keep going, and, ah, uh, crap. Alright, and we'll take this all the way to the here, and then go left, and then follow this passageway a bit. Derp a derp derp through this really nasty hall full of waters. And, of course, when passing through said hallway, you'll run into these guys. Okay, let's keep going here. Uh, Easy bastard. Okay, take this to the end. We're gonna go left, right, left, and down. And, uh, okay, all the way down the hallway we go, and to the left. And now we get into a little bit of a zigzag nightmare here. Zigzag, 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 zig. All right. And around. Oh God damn it! And we're walking, and we're fighting. Okay. Take this down here. Okay, down, and then we will have two different ways to go. I believe we'll want to head to the right and then to the left. Now, if we keep going around, we can avoid it, but there's really only, I think, four or five blocks worth of ooze here. And it's a one-way thing that we're doing anyway, so let's just go through. Three, four... Yeah, it's a five-block thing. You'd rather just take the damage than have to deal with it. Okay. Ow, 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 ow. And we'll want to go... Say left this time. Yes, I am correct. So let's keep moving, and... Oh, look, who would have thunk it? An angry boss! This time it's a shell beast, so he should be stronger than its predecessor. Let's go ahead and... Oh, do we want to buff ourselves? Yeah, let's buff ourselves. Just to be on the safe side, and with buffing comes boosting. So let's boost... Nick, we don't want to use any of Py Pyra's melee attacks when we fight a tough enemy. Because it means that she won't be able to... She could get entangled and be out for the rest of the battle. So you want to be careful with that. And maybe avoid doing it if you can't. You know, you don't want to see... He hits hard, so we're going to want her available to heal at this point. So now that we're doing that, let's go ahead and heal. 
Pyra there. And actually, let's slow him. Let's use a strong slow. There we go. Let's make sure that we hit him. Yes! Yes! Alright. Yeah, that's gonna leave a mark, but you can see he's still standing and he's still breathing frickin' fire. Which is not good. Come on, we gotta kill him. Now! Not tomorrow, not after breakfast, now! Guys, now I gotta heal myself. There we go. So we don't want to hold Pyra up, up with an attack, obviously. Though he should be dead, yeah. I was gonna say. He should be dead by that point. Ooh! And we gain the lever. The lever! Which is good. Let's go ahead and heal up after that. Because we don't use a lot of Pyrrha's magic because of her strong d attack because of the Hex Whip. And she'll get one guaranteed attack per battle. So that's usually enough to weaken almost any enemy to half of what it normally can do. So usually it's not such a big deal. Alright, let's keep moving. Until we reach a hallway that goes all the way down, which should be here. We'll go left. Two hallways, one leads to a, a whole lot of nothing, and the other one leads to further into the passage. Um, Hell Knights, I forget what their threat is, but we should be okay. They probably hit hard. But as you can see, look at that whip. 35 to a new enemy, mind you. That's pretty freaking good. Let's see here. Eh, about nine. They're not that threatening. Not yet, until they throw oh, magic! No, actually, we take melee hits pretty well. It's magic our guys don't take very well. So, yeah, I don't want to get hit with magic often, so... But fire and fire breath, there's not much you can really do. Ooh, there's not much you can really do about fire breathing. Alright, let's go ahead and head left, and we're gonna deal with these. Alright, let's move. Long hallway here, so be careful, remember... You want to be weary of long hallways now, because they can lead to very nasty things, as you've seen in the past. As we find our first chest, yeah, we had to go that far to get to a freaking chest, and it only has gold in it! Only gold! Ugh! You know, that's just the way it is. Like any other jackass that is undead, we'll use the fire staff and we'll use the whip, which should give us some pretty good results. As you can see, this whip is pretty nice. Though it can entangle her at the end of the use of it, so you have to be careful. But you can see this is my strategy for a lot of these big groups of enemies. Works like a charm. And it was MP free. Until, you know, he breaks the staff and then he can't use it anymore. But, you know, it, it, it gets you good through good chunks. And you don't use it often. Use it sparingly. You know, but use it only against large mobs that you can't hit all of them. I mean, so you can hit them all. And we don't have to deal with them later. <laughs> We're going to take this hallway all the way down to another chest. Be weary of the holes that open up above you. They can have some nasty surprises. We get a Mystic Rope. The Mystic Rope is a nice find. We'll get to exploit the hell out of it, but not right now. We'll exploit the hell out of it later. Um, it lets you climb up holes that you may have fallen through. While not sounding instantly useful at, that exa at the exact moment of discussion, it's actually very useful, and you'll find out why later. And you got a healer fruit, which I will use promptly. So yeah, those living dead, not a huge threat, but hit them with, um... Well, I'm poisoned. Ah! Hit them with, um... No, not vision. Hit them with, um... Magic attacks. Or you will be in for an interesting ride. There we go. Alright, we're gonna take this hallway all the way to the end for another box of goodies. Another herb water or healing item. Which we'll probably hold on to in case of absolute emergency of some sort. We'll figure it out. So we head up and around. Not very straightforward battle, so not much to show. You know, with any enemy that hits hard, kill quickly. You know, don't hesitate to use something nasty, you know. Kill them fast. Okay. So we gotta make it to the end of this hallway. And we fight trolls. They hit hard, kill quickly. Okay, and we're walking into a battle ox. He's all by himself, so he shouldn't be too much of a threat. I mean, he'll hit hard, like many of them do. But I think, yeah, he wasn't so much of a threat, was he? Now, in a group, that might be different, but... You can see he gave a lot of experience. God damn it. Whole bunch of new enemies all at once. And the same rule will still apply. Hit hard, kill quickly. <laughs> 
as 19 points of damage is a lot of damage. And actually, we couldn't give that one. That's strange. We'll give him now. Ah. Die. There we go. Nice. Let's keep moving. Oh, great. Magic Ahoy. They weren't so tough. Just use a the level 3 burst spell and some magic to go with it. You'll do really well. Alright. Oh, god damn it. Alright. Let's turn here. We're almost actually as far as we can get at the moment, so bear with me. Okay, really quick here. Let me just move something around. The herb water needs to move, because really what it does is it gives... It revives a character, I believe. And the whole point of it is to give it to somebody who can't normally revive someone on their own, so... And you can't buy him, I don't believe, ever, so... We'll just move it around. I think it's that's what it is, because I tried to use it as a healing item, and it didn't work out so well, so I'm sitting there going, well, what could it be, then? Oh, well, whatever. <laughs> yeah, Milo's paralyzed, and it doesn't seem to be doing much to help right now. I don't think he can do anything. Yeah, he's totally paralyzed and can't fucking do anything. Great. I've actually don't ever remember running into that problem. Ever. Um... And that means we don't have a means to actually remove paralysis. Right when I kind of need him to not be paralyzed here. And we'll have to ignore that as long as we can. See if we can keep moving. I don't know if we'll be able to. Okay. Well, Milo should be okay now, so... Dad damn it. Okay, so on a lighter note, I actually had to come back because I had taken severe damage. Unfortunately, so... And I think I'm actually out of inventory space. So we'll have to make room for something, so let's just use one of those. Alright. Yay! Now let's go ahead and use our Orb of Light, or the Orb of Truth, to make a Grimwall up here. They're not, I don't think he's any more dangerous than the other Grimwall, so you shouldn't have too much to fret. I mean, he just should be killable in one round. Unless he's stronger because he's blue, I... Yeah, he's just as dead. So he's not a threat. We don't even get anything good for killing him. But we do get the Ice Staff. Yay! Another staff for me to waste in battle. Um, probably even upgrade. I'll sell one of the staves and use the Ice Staff in place of it. Let's take this all the way near the end. Okay, and we're going to turn right. And we're going to go through a one-way door. We're going to go around. We're going to skip the first right here. And we're going to take that second right to another treasure. Okay, so we've done that. And here's a chest. Here, we gotta make more room. Again. Let's use one of those. Alright. And we get the Light Helm, or the helm o light Let's go ahead and give that to you. And the Ooh, this is actually one of the ultimate pieces of gear for our hero here. So this is definitely something we want to have. Let's swap that out there. Okay, let's go ahead and equip that bad boy. That is a definite upgrade. It's actually, I think, the last helmet he'll ever get. As you can see. I mean, I, I don't think there's another helm. I'm not sure. I don't remember. Pretty sure, though, that might be the last helm. And for that part, we're pretty much done. There's not much we can really do at this exact moment. So we're not going to do anything else. We're going to leave the dungeon. We're going to skedaddle out of here. And because we have... Um... The magic rope. There's a whole bunch of things we can do and explore that we haven't actually done yet. So we're going to take care of that. We're going to go ahead and recover at La Taveron. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So let's go ahead and rest. I'm going to sell off probably the fire staff. Keep the ice staff because that should be an upgrade for us. I may even sell that too. I don't know. It depends on my mood. We need 10 grand because we're actually going to go back into the dungeon to get a piece of mithril we couldn't acquire before. Um, so, so let's see here. Let's sell the steel helm. Okay. Um, yeah, we're going to have to sell one of the staves because we're carrying too much freaking stuff at this juncture. So let's go ahead and sell the fire staff. 1500 is. Yeah, let's see what do we got gear wise. Okay. 
got one there, there, and we got one there. So we're actually pretty good on that. And even then, I probably won't be using it very often, you know, for whatever. Oop, but there is something we need to carry. So actually, we do need to use up or sell one of the uh, helms, one of the uh, healing fruits. What we do need is the dwarf's key for a whopping 300 gold pieces. Yeah, I know. Oh my god, it's so expensive. Yeah, blow it out your ass. Okay. So we need that as well. So on that note, we'll head back into the uh, labyrinth. But this time we're going to be going to the Cave of Strength. Yeah, I know. Somebody's going to be sitting there going, You're going where? Why would you go to the Cave of Strength? That makes no sense. There's nothing in the Cave of Strength. Yeah, actually there is something in the Cave of Strength. Cave of Strength. So we'll see when I get to the Cave of Strength. Okay, so now we're in the Cave of Strength here. One of the things I'm going to want to do is use peace, because I don't want to be molested while traveling through here. None of these enemies are going to grant me anything worth, you know, the effort. So, let's turn left, take that all the way down here. When it wears off, we'll cast it again, because, you know, there's no point in not being completely protected here. Let's make, um... I think it's a... Yeah, it's a right. So, we'll take this all the way down. Oh. That tells you, you got to use it again. Let's use it again so we don't have to deal with them. Take this all the way down. And we actually got to make this right here. I think this leads to a stairwell. Yeah, so we got to go left here. Up the path to the left. And then we're going to make another left. Take this down. And now here's... Okay, let me deal with this clown. Okay, not much we can do about fighting them. So we just got to deal like it. Oh, deal with it. Let's use it again. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so now that we're moving again, we can head over here. What we'll actually do is head into this pit, which we would have avoided earlier. Now, instead of climbing it back up, we're going to use this mystic rope here. And we actually can now get on the other side of the hole which would lead to a very to a very nice chest that we couldn't reach earlier giving us a mithril ore so that's always a good thing there um, so now that we have the mithril ore our inventory is yet again overly full let's go ahead and leave the dun leave the dungeon egress all right we're gonna go back into town we're gonna go back into town there we go um, and we're gonna go ahead and obviously exploit the hell out of the traitor. We're gonna have him craft for us a weapon for Milo. Um, since Milo isn't really doing insane amounts of damage as much anymore, that's usually the argument a lot of people will make. This order will be for Milo. And it will be a weapon! Ooh! 38,000, huh? How far off are we? We're pretty far off, I think. Let me see here. Okay, we're pretty far off, so I'm going to have to go grind in order to get the gold that I need to produce that item. I'm probably going to have to grind even a little bit more because I'm going to have to... We're going to find more mithril, so... Oh, boy. I'm going to have to figure all that out. Just... Just freaking great. No, not it's not a big deal, but we're going to at least have to grind. Well, actually, let me check something out really quick here. No, you know what? I, I, I should do this in my, the order I want to, I think. Um, let me think. Well... It's debatable. I, I mean, let me see. The other mithril thing that we're going to make here is something for Pyra here. Pyra. And that would be a piece of armor. So how much does the armor cost to make? That's the question. Because we can always come back and do... You know, Milo's piece later. 24. We have enough for that. Let's see, 24 thousand is easier to acquire than thirty six thousand so let's hold off on that I'm gonna go back into the 
dungeon and gonna have to grind that money out so we'll see you on the next episode of let's play shining in the darkness i get enough gold to do the shit i want to do and um let me think here we'll probably also go through other parts of the dungeon because we're gonna actually you know what is even better than that let me just wait on that because we're actually gonna go back to the third level of this dungeon and get other chests that have other pieces of gear that we could upgrade and do other things with so that might if we just hold on to the mithril for a while we'll have to dump some of the crap that we're carrying but if we use like I'll have to oh yeah I gotta sell the the key because I have no use for that key if we make room in our inventory we actually can make this work here but anyway on the next episode of let's play shining in the darkness we dive even deeper um, we're looking for um, what we'll be doing is hanging out on this first second floor of the labyrinth and using some uh, some of those magic rope tricks that we've been using to get to some of the other neat goodies that can be found in the uh, depths of said dungeon so anyway and hopefully as I find better pieces of gear and items and stuff oops no as we find um, better pieces of gear and stuff I could sell off the crummy gear and thus in turn have enough money to spend on Milo's gear so you know that'll that'll help so we'll see you on the next episode